BJP was six years into its existence then, and its principal architects L.K. Advani and Atal Bihari Vajpayee were building a strong political movement around the Ram Temple. If Rajiv Gandhi's attempt was to blunt the BJP's Ram Temple agitation, the opening of the locks only emboldened the two to brand themselves as Hindutva icons. The politics around the Ram Temple got shriller and shriller since then. In 1989, the then Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi allowed the foundation stone laying ceremony close to the mosque structure. Again, in an attempt to blunt the rising popularity of the BJP's temple movement, this led to a full-blown national campaign of the BJP to drum up support for the temple. A war between who is the bigger icon for the Hindus, a sign trying to reinvent himself to earn mass appeal on an uncomfortable and complex issue, and on the other. a party which pegged its political fortunes by making this the central issue from two mps in the lok sabha in 1984 to absolute control of power palampur convention of the bjp 1989 the party switched gears and adopted for the first time formally the liberation of the ram janmabhoomi and construction of a ram temple at the disputed site This went on to become the party's core political agenda. The party so far was being led by a moderate Hindutva face and a more hardline face took over as party president. Ayodhya mein Shri Ram Janmabhoomi mein bhavya mandir ke nirman ka kaam bhi adhoora hai. 1990s changed the way politics was done around Ayodhya forever. September 25, 1990. Veteran BJP leader L.K. Advani launched his Rath Yatra on top of a Toyota truck, converted to look like a chariot. The yatra from Somnath in Gujarat to Ayodhya in UP. This was an attempt to drum up nationwide support for the temple, blunting any previous attempt made by any other dispensation. The turn of the decade is when the Ram Temple politics was at its peak and certain political realignments were attempted. The year of LK Advani's Rath Yatra and the year before that was when there was a lot of political upheaval. The Congress's downfall both at the center and in Uttar Pradesh had already started. Vishwanath Pratap Singh was the Prime Minister of India, a prime minister ironically supported by both the left and the right. the 45 mp's of the left and by now the 85 mp's of the bjp had both promised support the dual concoction of religion and caste based politics was at its peak in up chief minister mulayam singh yadav rose as the face of the backward caste social engineering a result of the mandal commission agitation while bjp positioned itself as the hindu party and a confused congress scampering for all constituents mulayam and the then bihar chief minister lalu prasad yadav positioned themselves as the messiahs of the muslims attempting to benefit from reverse polarization mulayam ordered firing on garsevaks in ayodhya in 1990 meanwhile lalu got lk advani arrested in samastipur when he came with his rath yatra the famous political lexicon of my factor or the muslim yadav factor is a subject of political study to this day <laughs> the assassination of former prime minister rajiv gandhi during an election rally in shri perumbudur the suicide bombers of the ltte slowed the wheels of the bjp's full political control over delhi's politics the party's grand mobilization around the ram temple got them around 120 seats in the 1991 lok sabha polls with congress gaining a massive sympathy vote retaining power along with its allies the bjp however did rise to power in the state of uttar pradesh kalyan singh was sworn in as chief minister it was under his supervision that the infamous demolition of the babri mosque happened an incident that would tear the very delicate strands of religious harmony 
The then Prime Minister P.V. Narasimha Rao too was accused of being a mere spectator, just like Kalyan Singh, as the disputed structure was raised. The temple agitation and post-demolition politics was a death knell for the Congress, especially in the two critical states of UP and Bihar. The court voters shifted base to a new caste religious political identity offered by Mulayam and Lalu. The BJP too suffered some political losses after the temple hype in the violent aftermath of the demolition. Since then, the Ram Temple was always an integral part of the electoral agenda of the BJP. The party even fought local and state elections on the promise of the abrogation of Article 370 and the construction of the Ram Temple. The constant caste churn at the time meant that new political identities were created, but the focus on the Ram Temple for the BJP meant that their political influence kept on growing. The party finally got a shot at power between 1996 and 1999, first for a few days in 96, and then for a full term in 1999 under Atal Bihari Vajpayee when the National Democratic Alliance was formed. With the quest of power achieved, Ram had now shifted from being a political subject to one of legality. The title suit, criminal proceedings in the demolition case, even a plea on the existence of Ram in a Ram temple were now all a matter of the court's judgment.